Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past with this week's haul video. Uh, for all the new subscribers out there, I've been doing this for over 20 years now, started in the late 90s, eBay and Amazon. Uh, shifted into doing two full-time retail stores for 10 years before I sold those and we moved to the East Coast and been flipping full-time for the past two and a half years. This week I only went to three thrift stores. Uh, wife wasn't feeling too good so she stayed home and I went out to just a few local ones. And I was really, really picky because, you know, storage is precarious right now. So I was super picky. Um, first up is this L.L. Bean vest. This is a heavy duty canvas vest that is wool lined. Really, really cool. Really nice condition. Has a couple of little spots here. Tiny, tiny spots. See that? It was only $15. Well, only $15. Quite a bit for a vest. But this vest is kind of special with the heavy duty canvas and the wool zip up really nice men's extra large i think i can probably get 50 or 60 bucks out of this vest so pretty good find okay next we have another corduroy blazer and this is a the lauren by ralph lauren uh just an average size nothing too big nothing too small it's a 42 regular i uh, picked this up for just three dollars this thrift store their their winter jackets and coats are over double the price that they were last year so i'm like huh i gotta diversify i gotta you know branch out because i love coats and jackets it's one of my favorite times of year but um they've just taken all the meat off the bone at uh, this thrift store i'm not going to say it but you can kind of tell what thrift store that is but uh i still like the thrift store but their their prices are getting just out of control uh, I think a lot of it's they've shifted into getting the uh, the uh, merchandise loads, the overstock and damage loads from Costco. And if you've done that before, and I have, back when I owned my retail stores, Costco loads are big money. They cost a lot. Like you can get a load from, say, Meyer. A Meyer is like a Target, but it's in like Ohio and that area and stuff. You can get a a truckload of Meyer returns for about with shipping you know depending on how far you are for about eight to nine thousand dollars Costco loads will cost you for the same type of load about twenty thousand dollars so I think that's one of the reasons the prices have went sky high but you know I could be wrong but anyway corduroy jacket really cool I can't remember if I sold one of those or had one of those recently um, I just usually pick them up and I see them with the little paisley stuff but anyway that should sell you know for good 40 45 maybe even 50 so we'll see this is a brand that was new to me you know we're always trying to branch out and, and stay ahead of the curve curve this is a canterbury of new zealand at first when i was going through the jacket this was in with the blazers and jackets and i was going through them you know pretty quick i thought this was like a boarding school patch but it's not this is a name brand and this is you know kind of their patch their logo uh, this is a wool blend little jacket and you know the buttons are worn you can tell this was worn i'll probably take the sweater shaver after this and, and shave it down a little bit but uh got this for three dollars 5.99 and no exact comps on this there was some of the same brand but no comps and this is a pretty good size it's a 54 which is a double extra large probably end up trying to get 60 to 75 dollars for this so but we'll see <laughs> just like everything right we will see okay last clothing item told you i was very picky in this one i was really really on the fence about and i was like up at the at the rack the coat rack and i almost put it back i'm like eh, er, er, er. so but i ended up getting it for a couple reasons this is a woolrich uh jacket the reasons I got it is because it's a real wool, kind of buffalo plaid lined. And this was seventeen fifty, or actually more than that. Thirty-eight divided by two. That's a fifteen eighteen bucks. Eighteen bucks for this. So but it has the wool lining, it's a men's extra large and it has a hood. So I went ahead and went for it. It's a pretty high end little jacket. And you know, for being all in at eighteen dollars, it better sell for about fifty bucks. You know, if I'm gonna have any any profit in it, so we'll see. Am I right or am I wrong? You know, I think it'll be okay. 
Okay, let me get this hung up here. Okay, next into some hard goods. I picked up both of these at the, at the same store. These are a vintage Debbie Mum Sakura made by Oneida Christmas glasses. There's a set of four and there's a set of four highball glasses. Snowman pattern, brand new in the box. Hard to find these anymore. And these were $4. And these will sell for $35 or $40 or so. And these... Debbie Mom, Jolly Snowman, the mugs, the stoneware mugs, the coffee mugs. And I got these for five dollars. Let's see that there. Yeah, there you go. Nine ninety nine, half price, five bucks. And these mugs will sell. Uh, you know, I paid five, and they'll probably bring that thirty-five to forty range as well. So yeah, pretty good find there, especially in the Christmas season coming up. I got this uh, Cincy warmer. And this is like new in the box. I opened it up. You know, the box is kind of wrecked here, but it's a Un Duke University, the Blue Devils branded. And I uh, picked this up for $3.50. And uh, this will bring about uh, $40, $45 or so. So, yeah, pretty decent find there. Salvation Army. I rarely find stuff at Salvation Army, but uh, I do every once in a while. This uh, Days of the Week mug bowl and plate kid set this is on the 25 percent off day at salvation army so this is around five dollars the royal worcester and uh these i've sold these sets before and they sell for you know that 35 to 45 range so yeah pretty nice the uh coca-cola polar bear mug brand new in the box uh, about a buck 50 remember 25 percent off so if this mug was this price without the box i wouldn't have gotten it but with the box I went ahead and went for it because it'll sell for twenty dollars or so the only other mug i got was this original sleepless in seattle mug 99 cents paid full price for that and this was original from the the movie 1998 nine tristar pictures no comps for this so i'm thinking it may go for that 30 dollar range no spoon star marks yeah so yeah i went for that a master's hat this i knew with the tag and uh paid up a little bit for this see there's the master's logo 25 percent off i paid four bucks for this which normally i would never pay four dollars for a hat but master's hats sell pretty quickly so it'll be a quick turnaround on this at four bucks and this will sell for about 25 or 30 at least i hope so <laughs> this if you comp this it's a frank frank sinatra cd set it won't sell for much you know 10 bucks or so i'll pay two dollars for it what i'm going to do with it is set it into my bin to sell stuff in the future because i think this kind of stuff will appreciate it. it's brand new in the wrap can never go wrong with frank sinatra yeah, so that's going to go in my futures bin. Okay, next we have this brand new in the box Sonic Hair toothbrush. Paid fifteen dollars for this, and this was brand new. I opened the box up and looked at it because I have one of these brushes as well. I kind of know what I'm looking at with this. Brand new, these sell for a hundred dollars. There's one that sold, just one comp that sold, and after shipping is about forty dollars or so. But I'll probably go, and there's another one listed for a hundred, so I'll probably go in the middle somewhere. I'll probably list this one for about fifty bucks or so. All right, last item. Told you guys I was super picky, but this last one is probably the best of the bunch, and it's a pair of Baffin boots. These muck boots. When I saw these on the shelf, I mean they looked used they look a little bit worn but turns out that's all just shelfware because if you look inside which i looked inside to make you know looking for condition and everything you looked inside and looky there brand new with the tags so these were on a retail shelf and they would just gotten a little beaten up and worn and scuffed so I will put, you know, since they're with the tags, even though they're beat, you know, worn shelf to, you know, shelf worn to death, I'll list these as new other and just put, you know, shelf worn 
and uh, yeah, go from there. And these were, I'm looking for the price tag on them. I think they were $15. No, they were, yeah, $15, $19.99 to 25% off. So 15 bucks for those Baffin boots. And these will bring about $150. Really, really high-end boots lined. Have the insulation. They're just not a plain muck boot. They have the, the line, insulation lining. So, yeah. And that is all we have for today. There's uh, three thrift stores. Only spent about $95 on everything. I will calculate what all this will about bring and put it in the title and we'll see but only 11 minute video so you guys are probably happy about that right <laughs> but anyway thanks guys uh, thanks to all our subscribers and uh, a double extra special thank you to our patrons you guys are awesome you know check out uh, our patreon account you know you can be a help support us for only a dollar a month and that'd be great and uh, we will be back this friday with what sold